welcome back to my channel and must I just say Merry Christmas. I am so pumped for this tutorial. It is totally outside my comfort zone and I am just really impressed with myself because I did some sparkle, I did some liner, I did a cut crease, it's all there. I'm just so happy how it turned out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this Christmas tutorial. I don't even know how I came up with this look. I was kind of just fiddling around and I'm like, hmm, well this liner is starting to look like a Santa hat. So I made it into a Santa hat and I think it's perfect for Christmas, of course. I'm using Sister James and Morphe palette. Oh my gosh. I did order this when it first got released. I ordered it like bam as soon as I could. As soon as it released on morphe.com I ordered this. Honestly the reason it took me so long to make a tutorial with this is because I have seen so many tutorials over it and if you don't pay attention to like his video and how he explains each color is supposed to work, you're supposed to pat this color, you're supposed to blend this color. It kind of scared me, so I was really hesitant to even use it today, but I'm like, no, I have to do this. I need to use it for my channel. That's why I bought it. But I love the packaging. It is so stunning, and I'm so excited that I actually got into it finally and used it. I did use the two greens and the red to make this Christmas look, and also the white. But I think it worked beautifully. The red, I kind of had a little bit of trouble with, I'm going to be honest because I was using this Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush and it's a packing brush. It was working but there was some patchiness and I tried to wet it and then go into it and that did not work at all. So what did I use? The best tool and you're born with it, my finger, and I patted it on. Oh my god if I would have just did that from the beginning it would have like saved me from a headache. But I was so scared to get into this palette and to use it just because a lot of people are like it's so hard to use. You really have to think and you really have to be creative with this palette. So it kind of just scared me but I'm really glad that I got it out for you guys and tried it out. And I really like how this makeup look turned out so I think I am unleashing my inner artist. I just had to do that. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this green and red Santa hat makeup tutorial and if you do please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below for me. And yeah if you want to see how to get this makeup look then just keep watching. Okay so the first shade I'm going to go into is Social Blade and this is the electric green in the palette. I'm taking a fluffy brush but more with a pointed tip. And I'm going to be just blending this back and forth in my crease and above my crease. I really want this shade to be blended out so I'm building it up slowly and just blending it back and forth on my crease. Then I'm going to go into the shade Daddy. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I'm going to be doing pretty much the same thing, but I'm trying to really keep this in my crease and not go above my crease like I did the last green, just because I really want that ombre effect with these two greens. At first I'm going to kind of go back and forth with these two greens because I really want to build it up and really want that ombre effect. So I'm going to go back into Social Blade and I'm going to be doing the exact same thing, putting this in my crease and above my crease. Then I'm going to go into the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I am going to be making a cut crease. And I'm going to be cutting it all along my lid and making a kind of a rainbow shape and then I'm going to try and wing it out at the very end. I did however end up cutting above my crease because I have hooded eyelids and I really wanted the red shade that I'm going to put on next to show. So I did end up making the rainbow a little bit higher. I'm going to go into flashback and this is the pure white in the palette. And I'm just going to use this to set that concealer to give it a nice base for the next shade I'm going to put down. Then I'm going to go into You're Kidding. And this is the bright red in the palette. I think this is a stunning shade. 
I tried using a packing brush from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection and it was doing alright but there were some patchy areas so eventually I just start using my finger and packing on the rest of the red. No one likes a patchy eyelid. I'm just cleaning up the fallout and sharpening up that wing so it looks nice and clean. And then for the fun part, I'm going to be going into the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Smoky Storm. And I'm first going to be sandwiching the eyeliner between the red and the green so it makes a nice cut crease. And then I'm going to be using it as a liner right by my lash line. And I'm going to be winging the two lines together. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy fan and dry the liquid liner. Look how cute my Christmas sweater is. It says Merry and Bright. Oh, and look at that. My makeup is all done. How convenient. I'm then going back into the shade Social Blade. And I'm going to be putting this all along my lower lash line. Then I'm going back into the shade Daddy. And I'm going to be putting this on my lower lash line also, but I'm only taking it from my pupil outwards. When in doubt, smoke it out. Then I'm going to go into the shadow ring light, and this is going to be my nice pop of highlight in my inner corners. Next, I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Witness White. And I'm going to be putting this on the very end because, you know, it looks like a Santa hat, so i got to have the snowball on top. And that's just my base because now I'm going to be going back into the palette. I'm going to be taking, again, the shade Flashback, and I'm going to be putting this on top to set it and also make it more vibrant and a little bit more of a pop. To finish off this look, I'm just going to put on some lashes and set my face with the ColourPop All-Star Setting Spray. And voila, I'm done. All right, that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed this Santa hat makeup look. I think it turned out so amazing, like I said in the beginning of the tutorial. It's just something really outside my comfort zone. I wanted to do something really different for you guys, so I'm really trying to mix it up for the holiday season. So I came out with a couple tutorials for you guys. And I don't know, this one might be my favorite. <laughs> It's just, it's so Christmassy. The Santa hat is perfect for Christmas, you know? I hope you all just have a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys all enjoy some family time and some friend time. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend some quality time with my friends and family, just open presents, drink some alcohol, maybe some hot chocolate, eat lots of food. So I'm really pumped for the Christmas season. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe down below for me. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!